Welcome back to this Siemens i7-1500 and i 120 servo drive series video. In this video, we will discuss how can we tune i 120 servo drive. Especially, I will discuss how can we use the one-button tuning function by starter software and the starter drive, these two mainstream software. And the one-button tuning function basically could cover 80 or even 90% applications and it's very easy for you. For example, from this picture, we can see you can select the conservative or standard or dynamic performance. So the system can help you to tune the motor. So you do not need to pay a lot of efforts to manually tune the P gain, the speed control gain, or integral time. So play one button click, one minute, you can tune your server drive system in similar time. And to further manually tune, I probably can use another video after this 10 series video. I could use one or two videos specially discuss how can we manually tune the speed gain and the integral. Also, I will show how can we use the bot plot and use the margin from the face and the gain to have a rough idea which group parameter can allow the system has a higher dynamic performance also come within a certain stable range. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss the one button tuning. So this can cover most of cases application. All right, let's start. And in this video, I will use this blue drive, this blue motor as an example. And the basic tool I will use, one is the starter software, one is the TI portal start drive. I will utilize some good feature from both software. And basically step, I will firstly do the stationary tuning. And then I will do the automatic controller setting. From this automatic controller setting, we can run a sequence to optimize something behind. And all after this, we can go to the start drive and we can utilize the start drive one button tuning that basically we can tune the speed controller. So for example, if we go to the commissioning and from this one button tuning, we can tune those parameter. This P1460, this parameter P gain, that's the speed controller P gain. Okay, according to your application, you can select the conservative or the dynamic. Using the different selection, the system can optimize this P gain. And also based on this value, you can do some further tuning or adjustment. Okay, now let's do that. So firstly, you need to guarantee all the configuration. You uploaded from the online already. And now my offline online, they all match. So here you can see that shows green. Okay, and now let's shift to the drive blue, this blue drive. And firstly, I will do the stationary measurement. Okay, then let's shift to the stationary measurement. Okay, let's active this measurement. And here the system will show the motor data and the notification active. Now the system is waiting for us to assume the control priority to turn on the motor. And in the meantime, we will see the motor on run the drive will identify the motor with a stationary status. In the meantime, you can disconnect with your load and let the motor just do some free run in case. Okay? Now I can turn on the motor. Okay, this identification done. So after this complete, we will see some new parameters showing here. So we will see the motor resistance and the leakage and some other values. And after this, you can click accept the value. In the meantime, we will see here the current control P game. The system will also identify and uh, suggest this value here. And you can write down. In the meantime, we will also do some further Tuning. For example, we can use the board plot. We can see with this current controller P gain 33. So what the margin from the board. And we can increase or decrease a little bit for that. 
okay? Uh, in this system, I'm using Siemens drive and the Siemens solar motor. So we do not need to do the turning management function because the drive store all those parameter, the pre-configured parameter. But if you are using the third end motor, basically you can select the tuning management. So the motor can spin using the turning management. So your motor can be identified more accurately. But in this application, I'm using Siemens drive. So uh, basically I do not need to do that. Okay, this step done. So we identify some basic parameters from your motor. All right, now let's go to the automatic control setting here and make sure we select the speed controller and make sure we select the correct motor and now we can run this sequence now okay so we can give up the controller first and from here we can click this button assume control priority and we can turn on the drive And now we can click this button, perform all steps. And in the meantime, here, we better disconnect with your load. Okay, run the motor only first. Because during these steps, the motor will run. Okay, we, as we can see here, when the performing this uh, measurement, the drive produce a movement Okay. And last hit yes. It ask us to do some more confirmation here. So the drive is operated with the current control for this measurement. Okay, so let's click yes. Make sure you disconnect with your mechanical system. Uh, run the motor only. All right, we finish all the identification here. Okay, so now we can turn off the motor. And in the meantime, we can watch this value. So this is the calculated. This is the old value before, okay? Especially we can see the speed controller P game and the speed controller integral. So we can see those values here, okay? and. If you accept the value, you can click this accept the value. I would like to mention here. So while we are accept the value, currently the, all the parameters are still saved in the run. And if you cycle power, all the parameter learned during this process will be lost. So make sure after we optimized everything, make sure we click that copy run to ROM. Also, we will do the upload parameter because all the parameter now located in the controller, in the CU of the S120. So we need to do upload, upload all the parameter from the drive to our offline program. Okay, now click yes, we accept those values here. Now we can go offline. Okay, we need to give up this control priority. Okay, we can go offline. To this step, you can click this copy RAM to ROM to save all the parameter in the drive from the RAM to ROM. So now if you click this copy RAM to ROM, so all the parameter will copy it from RAM to ROM. Okay. All right. And after this step, I recommend you can click this load the project to PG, basically upload all the parameter from the drive to your offline, this starter software, this starter project. Okay, so for example, we can do a quick verification. Now, if we go to 1460, 
if we go to the drive blue uh, expert list and then let's go to 1460 okay this is the peak gain of the speed controller so currently the controller parameter that is 0.07 okay and we upload the project now we can save and compile basically we complete this one button tuning process from the Siemens starter and then let's go to the TI portal the start drive this software as shown the, from the previous videos I config this everything now I can go online online connect this motor and now we can use this one button tuning to tune all those parameters and now we can connect the mechanical load with your motor and your motor can connect everything that's why when we try to use this one button tuning function here the system asks us to set something to allow this motor can run a certain degree for example here I set 360 that's the default value so the motor will run 360 degree to run a certain distance and in this step you can connect with your mechanical system but you need to make sure your mechanical system can do some free run or a certain distance free run so as we can see uh, we can define the travel distance or the travel degrees from the motor so with the mechanical system so when we do this conservative or dynamic one button tuning the system can identify the inertia from your load much better than free run and I said 360 so firstly I will select this dynamic and we can compare the value compare the value from the dynamic and the conservative okay so now we can also check this according to the application you can select something for example for this torque you can select yes or no okay and now active the master and make sure you connect your load okay stop so we saw the motor will spin 360 also will do 180 around back and forth okay and because we select this dynamic we can see this p gain the speed controller p gain was 0.07 and now it increased a lot increased to 0.2 okay here we can temporarily write down here so when the system that's the dynamic okay the p gain is 0.25 okay and the integral that is the 5.54 okay now we leave this parameter here and then let's select this conservative and let's click this start again So as we can see here, we can compare. Basically, this line was dynamic, and this line, this is the conservative. Definitely, for the conservative, the peak gain is smaller than before, roughly half than before. Okay, integral time wasn't big change, but this peak gain definitely got a decrease two times. Okay, we can write down here. okay in case your system need to do some manually tuning further you can use these two groups as your reference basically your gain could be within this range and the integral could also use this value as a reference so you can do some further manually tuning okay so now we can leave this uh, conservative here and all those value learned from the system and after this you can click this save this small icon Okay, it will save the RAM to ROM.
This is the same idea, same the RAM to ROM. And all those parameters will save from the drive CU control unit RAM to ROM. And once you cycle power, the system will still use these new values. I pretty like this one button tuning function from this drive starter, this software. And it's very convenient. I highly recommend you can use this function to tune, to one button tune your motor. Basically, the parameters got this tuned won't be too far away. Okay, and then we can deactivate. So if we just need to do some roughly tuning, basically this three step, that's enough. So if we do a quick wrap up, firstly, we used the starter do the stationary fine tuning. The drive system will identify the motor with the stationary status. And then we use the starter, it named the automatic controller setting. It will run the sequence. So the drive will identify the motor better. That time the drive will do a slightly motion. And then when we use the starter drive, the TI Portal starter drive software, and we will use this uh, one button because here we can use the conservative dynamic, this selection. During this step, you can connect with your load, your mechanical system, but you need to make sure your mechanical system can run a certain degree free run. And you can set the motor, the range, the travel range limitation here. So you can, with your load, to tune the motor so the motor can learn the inertia better than the free run. All right, this is the topic for today, the one button tuning using the starter and the TI Portal start drive software. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.